Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my Fever 16 Liverpool career mode. Now before we jump into today's game against Sunderland, I just want to say a huge big thank you for the love and support on the channel. If you do enjoy today's video, please do give it a big thumbs up for me, drop your comments down below if you're new around here, click that subscribe button, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys from the off start, today's video, just like the last career mode, is only going to have one game in it, and that of course is the game against Sunderland, but I do have a good reason guys. This is the last game in December, so in four days' time, we'll be going into January. And not only will the transfer window be opening, look how busy our month of January is. We have so many games. From the off source, we have Watford in the FA Cup. We then have West Ham in the BPL, Arsenal in the BPL, Man United in the BPL, Everton's first leg in the Capital One Cup, Norwich in the BPL, and then the second leg of the Capital One Cup semi-finals against Everton. So it's absolutely mental. Now, unfortunately, guys, we played Leicester City just two days ago, and the players have not had time to rest and get fully fit and get energised. So I don't know what we're going to do in January because we play Watford, Four days later, we play West Ham. Five days later, we play Arsenal. Four days later, we play United. Then five days later, we play Everton. Three days later, we play Norwich. And then five days later, we play Everton. So it's absolutely mental. So the team is probably going to be rotated quite a lot. But I just want to put up there now before everyone says, Brad, who are we signing in January? Guys, being completely honest, we are not going to look at signing anyone. The only best thing I can get out of January is that some of our youngsters go out on loan so they're not sitting on the bench all the time or even sitting in the reserves. They get to go out, they get to play, they get to grow and stuff like that. And the likes of people that are unhappy at the team like Colo Torre, he will depart the club. But luckily, last episode, Martin Scales said, listen Brad, you know, I know you've supported me, you've been there, the assistant managers have supported me, they wanted me to stay, I have decided now I'm going to stay and hopefully we'll hear back from Sacco because Sacco is kind of sitting on the edge of the cliff at the moment, he doesn't know whether to leap over or back up and stay safe at Liverpool, so we're all kind of waiting on that to happen soon, hopefully he will stay and he won't depart the club anytime soon. Also guys, before I jump into today's video, I hope you all did, in fact I know you all did, enjoy the 100 subscriber special video, you guys blew up the comments, so many of you you have got involved in some of the giveaways, you're all a major, like Brad, you're so kind, you're so generous, how can you be doing this, Brad, you're giving VIP tickets to Liverpool away, now guys, if you haven't seen the 100 subscriber video, because you just come to my channel to watch the FIFA content, I would highly, highly recommend, and so do the rest of the Peace Out Nation, everyone would probably recommend that you go and check out that video, because I am giving some awesome stuff away, and just to let you all know again, because some people didn't understand it, you can enter as many as you want, guys, so if you're from anywhere in the world, outside the UK, you can enter the PlayStation giveaway and the Xbox giveaway. You can enter them too. Now, although you've only got an Xbox, if your friend or a family member's got PlayStation, you can enter for them. That's not a problem, guys. But only the only international giveaway I'm doing is for the Xbox points or the Xbox gift card and the PlayStation gift card. Now, all the rest of the giveaways, so Black Ops 3, the Anfield VIP trip, T-shirts, posters, that is for UK only for the simple reason that to move some of that stuff, like to ship Black Ops abroad, is going to cost a bit of money. And then, obviously, I did say for the Liverpool tickets, I would be covering all costs of transport, so if you're driving or whatever. For some people around the world, unfortunately, guys, maybe one day, you know, if YouTube become a career, maybe it'd be completely different. But at the moment, I couldn't afford to be spending hundreds of pounds on flying you to the UK, watching the game, and then flying you out. Because if you didn't fly out the same day, it'd mean I've got to put you up in a hotel. And it's just a lot of costs. Last thing to do now, guys, is to show you how the team looks, because obviously, some of them are very tired and unfit so I've had to drop them from the starting 11 but I've kept Benteke in there, Sturridge has come in for Coria I've dropped Roberto Firmino for Coutinho at central attack and mid, I've then got Henderson, Lucas and Tielemans at central sorry at centre mid and I've got Moreno Sacco, Skirtle, Klein at the back with Minya laying going round, if you do guys we are going to jump straight in to this away game at Sunderland and hopefully bag the three points and as you can see in the bottom right now we're currently sat in seventh position on 31 points with Stoke one point ahead of us and Everton two points ahead of us so if Everton draw or lose there's a chance that we can get in the top five in today's episode and obviously as from tomorrow guys I will be back to two games per episode don't worry about it but it's just tonight and after the 100 subscriber yesterday I stayed up very late editing it and I've come home today from work and I have to work a little bit later and stuff like that and I'm not making excuses I'm just being honest with you guys I just haven't probably got the time to do two videos and also we are very very busy in January so I'm gonna have to work out what to what who am I gonna play who am I gonna rest and all that so I thought play this game get it out the way and then we can start a brand new fresh episode 
episode tomorrow, a brand new fresh month, and hopefully we can start moving up the BPL table. Let's get into this game against Sunderland and hopefully bring three points away from the Stadium of Light. Bit of a cloudy day at the Stadium of Light, but I am not bothered about the weather, guys. What I am bothered about is picking up the three points today, and I know that Sunderland, although they're probably an average team who finished mid-table, they have got a decent team. They've got a lot of fast players in there, and they have got the ex-Liverpool player, Barini, playing in that number nine position, which is probably left attacking mid for them. And they've also got Coates, who's a defender who used to play for Liverpool. I think we did sell them as well, which I'm a bit shocked over because I thought we would have kept all of them. But nevertheless, we are going to have the Liverpool fans behind us. And you guys as the assistant manager, me as the manager, I am sure we can bag the three points today. Henson lays it off for Benteke. Benteke through on goal! Oh, and the keeper makes a huge save. What a save indeed. Is that Pantillamon? I do believe it is. He is a huge goalkeeper, so he's not going to be easy to beat. He's got a huge... Wingspan on them, so it's never ever going to be easy. Let's just whip a ball in, try and kill it out for Benteke, maybe edge of the box, and it comes for Lucas. Comes straight out for Sacco on his right foot, and it's straight into Pantillamon's hands, no problem. Come on, close him down, no! And they managed to get a shot off. Come on, lads, close him down. And we have got to make a substitution by the look of it. Tielemans has asked, can he come off? So we are definitely. Gonna have to take him out of play now, and I think it's gotta be James Milner to bring on. I'm worried now because I'm hoping T. Elliman's is not out for a long time because we need them, especially with January being a bit of a busy uh, month for us. We definitely need everyone fit. Better to be safe than sorry, and as long as we can get this out now without any panic, we should be okay. Win that, get it out. No! What a save, Minulay! He saves it with his left foot a full stretch as well. That was absolutely incredible. Look at this. Comes on the volley, Mignolet have a huge save, well done Mignolet, he has been an absolute showstopper for us recently, absolutely incredible, win that, get it out, nicely done, win it Klein, chase him, put the pressure on, and Milner's robbed him, Milner's robbed him, he's going in back post for Benteke, oh no Benteke, what did you do, why didn't he header it, why didn't he just hit it first time, a shot, but he didn't do anything, oh Benteke, that was a chance man, nicely done, here we go, here's Lucas, Plays it for Benteke, in for Coutinho, lay it off. Sturridge, and I think he's offside. And we've scored, but he is offside. Oh, man, I knew he was offside as well. He run too quick for me. I couldn't control it with Coutinho and play it through. But we scored. Scored right before half-time as well, but unfortunately it was offside. Unlucky Sturridge. Come on, Sturridge, get a foot in, and Sturridge tackles him. But nevertheless, guys, the ref is blown for half-time. 45 minutes has passed. And I would, to be perfectly honest, I would say that the game is very equal at the moment. We've probably had a few more chances, but possession-wise and stuff like that, I think it is very, very close. Unfortunately, Tielli Mons has picked up an injury in the first half, which is going to be a huge hit for us. But luckily, we have got Bazaar and stuff like that, so it's not too bad. But we're going to jump into the second half, hopefully play a little bit better than we did in the first. And obviously, Christian Benteke will have to come off soon. He is not very fit at all. Come on, Klein. Oh, he's got all the... Do not let Barini get through. No! No, no, and Barini puts it well wide. Sacco did dive to put his body on the line there. Here's Milner. Go on, Lucas, win it back. Here's Milner. Play it through. Here's Benteke. Cut back. Come on, Benteke, onto your right foot. Oh, Pantillamon makes a huge save. And guys, with that save coming right there, I am going to make a substitution. Benteke is very tired, but I tell you what, that deflection and then onto Pantillamon's huge save was absolutely insane. So we're going to take Benteke off. And we're going to bring, obviously, the man Corrier on. And I think the only other substitution I'm going to make is bring Gomez on for Klein. And that is the last substitution because, obviously, we had to take Tielemans off because he got injured very early in the game, should I say. Well, and what a save that was, Pantillamon. You kept the minute there. Go on, play it through. Go on. That's a lovely ball. Come on, Coutinho. Oh, lucky. We are trying everything here, lads. We can just not find a way through. It's unbelievable, this. Play it again. Yes. Come on, Sturridge. Tear him. Go Sturridge, hit it! Oh, and Pantillamon collects it. We cannot beat this keeper whatsoever. Let's go Sturridge, this is it now, pace it. Come on Sturridge, go! Sturridge, hit it! Oh, and it's another huge save by Pantillamon. What do I have to do to beat him? Four minutes to go and I'm thinking this could be our biggest chance yet, guys. Please, somebody get their head on this. Come on, ball comes in. Lucas edge of the box. Now it's come off for Henderson again. Get a ball in, Henderson. Lovely ball in back, puts for storage. And Pantillamon is too tall and collects it out the air. This is not great at all. It's two on one. No! No, please, no. You must be joking. 
after so many shots on target and the tramper as well playing across goal straight into the foe and he buries it in the top right corner and guys it looks like we have just lost the point that we were only going to get come on we're still going go and play it oh Milner's messed up Milner messed up at the last minute then he just let the ball go past him you idiot Milner I can honestly not believe that Pantillamon is definitely picking up one of the match without a doubt and the fact at the very end of the game it's just FIFA all over that's all it ever is, and I actually want to see the stats for this one. Oh my word. Eight shots, fair enough, but most of them are wide and high. But the two shots they get on target, one of them ends up in the back of the net. But our six shots on target, so again we get 100% shot accuracy, which I'm happy with. And that's the positive thing to take away. But we don't manage to put one in the back of the net, and I don't know if it's maybe because all of our team wasn't fit, but I can guarantee you, Pantelamon gets man in the match, I knew it. 8.5. That is absolutely unbelievable. That is unreal, guys. I can't believe it. I really thought that we had a chance for this one. I really thought after how we played in the first half and we come out the first 20 minutes in the second half, we were all over them. Bad news. Yuri Tellyman's has suffered a bruised shoulder and will be out for nine days. Are you joking me? He went off the pitch after like 20, 25 minutes because he bruised his shoulder. Oh, my word. What is up with him? You've got a bruised shoulder, get on with it, One. Jesus man. So what right, let's delete that, and now what we're going to do guys, the last thing to do is I'm going to simulate and get into January so the transfer window opens, and obviously our next match will be against Watford in the FA Cup, which I'm looking forward to, and finally, one more day, let's just pause it on the second day, let's go, and there we go, we are now into the transfer window guys, Egypt have come on by an international management offer, we are deleting that because we're not doing that, important transfer market information at the Liverpool board of email with the subject squad depth concerns good morning we feel your squad could do with an extra something at the back and I hope you can strengthen the defence area with some new talent at this transfer window. The fans in the press seem to be expecting a substantial signing this window. Please speak with us if you require assistance with this. Liverpool Board of Directors. Are you joking me? You're telling me we need someone at the back? Yet we've got Skirtle, Sacco, Varane, Zuma. We've got four centre-backs. I don't really need any more. We've got Colo Torre as well. We've got Ilori out on loan. If I sign another defender, that is just going to be crazy. And to be perfectly honest, I've got no money. I've literally got no money whatsoever. We have had a transfer offer for Simon Mignolet. I'll be rejecting all them. He will definitely not be departing the club. But one thing I will be doing in the summer is offloading Bogdan. Oh, a lot of people are interested in him. I'll be offloading Bogdan and bringing in Jack Butland, I think, because I think he is an absolute awesome keeper and he's got a decent growth potential on him as well. A bit worried that the board has said, Brad, we want you to sign a defender because I've got a feeling if I don't do what they tell me to do, am I going to get sacked? That is a huge problem. Guys, if you know, let me know in the comment section. If you don't listen to the board and take their advice and do what they say, do you get sacked? Because that's something that I don't want to happen. I have been sacked from manager career modes in the past and it's not great because you work on a team and stuff like that and it just gets taken away from you. And obviously, as you can see here, Texaria, Rossiter, Philip, O'Hanlon, Origi are all on the transfer loan list hopefully to go and join a club and get a bit of game time as well. I don't want to sell any of them. I want to see how they kind of progress over the couple of years. Preferably, I didn't want to buy anyone, but the looks of it, I'm going to have to buy a defender. So if you guys know any cheap, decent defenders, let me know in the comment section because it looks like we're going to have to buy one of them. But nevertheless, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And I have been Massive Brad. Peace out.